Hey folks, Will Owen here with JetBoatPilot.com. On this video today, uh, as we're debuting the lateral thruster, we're going to talk about now in this specific video, the twin engine version. We've created two different versions, the twin engine as well as the single engine. For this particular video, we want to show you how the single or the twin engine works, as well as some of our thinking behind creating a twin engine adaptation. Uh, what you'll notice right here in front of you is a couple of jet pumps, these are Yamaha pumps. Uh, you have one for the starboard side as you face the camera, and one as the port side as you face the camera. If you know on a Yamaha boat, when you turn the engines or turn the steering wheel, both of your nozzles turn together in unison. I'm not quite as synchronized, but you get the point. Uh, and the idea for the twin version is, as we turn the steering wheel to the right, put it in reverse, just like your car, the stern goes to the right. Uh, so what we've done is, is we've taken the port side motor, which now is covering this inlet. I'll give you a better example. This is what's bolted onto the bottom of the unit. When we turn the nozzles, a portion of the reverse is being pushed underneath the boat at about a 30 degree angle. But on the port side, if I've got the wheel turned hard over to the right, now about a third of the reverse is over the top of an inlet that's mounted directly underneath the nozzle. It's stationary, mounted underneath the nozzle. And you'll see that that inlet now is forcing water out the side, directly out the port side. So the reaction is pushing water out of the port pushes the stern towards the right or towards the starboard side. So that action, increasing the turning uh, from a 30 degree max angle to now a 90 degree max angle gives you a tremendous improvement in slow speed steering in reverse. Conversely, if I take the steering and turn it hard over to port, you'll notice that now this nozzle is no longer being blocked by this inlet. It's now completely open. And now the starboard side, about a third, is now covering and actually sending water down this inlet which then gets turned and sent out the starboard side. So as I turn the wheel to the left, I'm anticipating the stern of the boat going left, and this pushes out of the right side of the boat, the starboard side of the boat, which then in turn turns or pushes the boat towards the left. What's particularly interesting about this, one of our major design elements was trying to make sure that we maintained the same intuitive nature that a Yamaha jet boat has in reverse compared to other systems out there which turn opposite to your expectation. This means this is gonna drive like your car or any stern drive or any outboard power boat. It's gonna give you a great amount of freedom to learn quickly, as well as your wife, your kids, your family, uh, husband, ladies. Uh, anybody that's driving the boat besides you uh, can pick up and learn very quickly without instruction. That's one of the most critical things we wanted to talk about. Um, more detail here, what you're seeing on the bottom, again, these are prototypes. We've talked about that in previous videos. Um, the final versions will look very similar to this, but maybe a bit more refined. All we're doing is bending a portion, about a third, of the reverse flow to a 90 degree angle, giving us a lateral thrust. We're not bending all of it, we want to maintain a significant amount, obviously, of the existing reverse to give you the ability to slow the boat down, to go in reverse. But we still wanted to make sure that we also addressed giving you that influence over the stern, where it wants to turn versus just crawling rearward uh, which many of you may have experienced that. So that's the twin engine adaptation. Uh, one of the things I also want to mention before we go, we wanted to focus on the simplicity of its installation, and you'll notice that basically the installation is as straightforward as taking off the bottom pivot bolt for the nozzle, you add one bottom bolt, as well as one strap on the side, and that's going to give us the ability to lock it in two places, as well as on the back edge, you can't see it on this part here, but there's a notch. And we index off of a uh, support here, uh, integrated into the Yamaha's jet pump. So we're triangulating, we're connecting at three points, so that the part is basically becomes one with the unit. It's very stable, doesn't move, uh, and obviously it's designed not to move, you want it to be uh, stationary. Uh, that's pretty well sums it up for the twin engine version. I know you're going to have a lot of questions for us after seeing this, and of course we'll be willing to answer any questions that you might have. Reach out to us through jetboatpilot.com. You can also reach us through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, through the forum at jetboaters.net. We'll be glad to answer any questions that you might have. Uh, we appreciate you watching this video today. We hope it's been helpful to you. Thanks. Have a great day.